Desi, thanks for joining RCR Wireless News here at the 2013 Wireless Infrastructure Show. Uh, one of the reasons we wanted to stop by was to really find out how the KGP's acquisition of TE Professional Services acquisition is going and learn a little bit more about Bluestream. Sure. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Jeff. Um, KGP acquired TE Professional Services back in April of uh, 2012, so we've had it for over a year now. It's going very well. We've integrated the companies where we can share resources we do, and we've looked at it strategically and where we can grow. So KGP is a, is a you know, first-class distributor. We do distribution value-added services. It's a nice way to kind of couple that capability and take it to market where we can go further than that and do integration work and deployment work. Um, we've been able to use KGP as a provider to Bluestream as well. So a little bit of using our own services to be successful. And so far, it's been a, a good acquisition for us. Can you give me a little uh, background or at least size and scope of Bluestream's operations today? Uh, Bluestream is a national service provider. We have uh, people throughout the whole country. Uh, KGP servicing Bluestream. We have distribution centers from at, you know, every corner of, of the national footprint. Uh, we have engineering centers throughout the country as well. So we've got all in about 2,000 employees across both companies. And uh, we're hand handling about 20,000 projects per year. And in terms of Bluestream proper, are you uh, what specific services are you offering, and who are your typical customers? Are you working with the carriers directly, or is it typically through uh, some of the OEMs? Uh, actually, as Bluestream, we're doing any type of project, whether it's you know in plant, in building, or outside plant. We're working all the way through the network. So anything from central offices to transport to data center to towers and we're doing all services work and um, we're, we're able to do that throughout the whole country. Now certain areas we're stronger than others but we're investing heavily in, in areas where we want to be strategic about our, our business and we're growing in those markets. Do you do site acquisition? Uh, site acquisition we do through partnerships. Yep. And then engineering? Uh, we do engineering, yes. And how about the actual tower climbing? Uh, we're investing heavily in that right now so we're uh, hiring and training crews and building that business, and uh, we're seeing it grow pretty quickly. And tell me a little bit about KGP as a company, uh, the history of the company, where you founded, and uh, a little bit more background. Uh, KGP, you know, through the ownership, has been around for about 40 years, and we're a woman-owned business. We're a distributor. Uh, we've got significant scale. We do about 5 million transactions a year through EDI. Um, we, we have a broad range of customers spanning large tier one customers to much smaller customers. We have about 2,500 customers in total. Uh, we work with many OEMs. We've got a broad portfolio. We're able to offer up to about 130,000 products. Uh, and the company does a great job of, of being very efficient in distribution. We've invested heavily in our distribution centers, which we believe makes us best in class, very efficient, very low cost. But in addition, we can go up the value chain and do what we consider value-added services within distribution. So we can do whole order management. We can do serial capture for, for certain asset tracking. We can do reverse logistics. We can do um, very specific replenishment programs for customers to make sure we deliver materials where they need it, when they need it. And what makes us unique is that coupled with Bluestream, we can go well beyond that. So we can take OEM products, integrate them, simplify the bomb, simplify the build, and integrate all those within our centers. And then we can ship that out to the field and we can provide it to the carriers or the contractors to do installation work or we can do it for them. So we believe we have everything from material all the way through deployment and, and we've been able to pull that together and uh, we're always looking to prove that. Tell us a little bit more about your role and some of the trends you're most excited about over the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, my specific role, so I'm over uh, what we call broadband wireless and wireline networks. Um, in the last 12 months, we've integrate, you know, worked on integrating Bluestream, but also we had an acquisition late last year where we acquired Trinet, a distributor that also had pretty decent scale but, but had specific markets it was familiar with. So we've been able to really target into more specific markets, whether it's wireline, wireless, utilities, um, MSO and really provide services across all those different segments. We see a lot of similarities across those segments in that they're all dealing with similar supply chain issues and we think our capability really spans all of them. So we've invested heavily in certain segments and we're going to continue to drive to uh, service our customers and exceed their expectations. 
Well, Desi, thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jeff.